What's good, y'all? Peace Sports coming at you with another one. Zion Williamson, young, promising NBA superstar, right? He got himself into a lot of hot water. And this hot water is him taking fun dips into a couple of boxes. Some corn stars, um, random woman. Um, there's alleged that um, he may have a little addiction. Now... What he does in his personal time, I could care less. I really don't care about how many people he get busy with because that's basically every NBA star. But the thing is, you're fat, you're out of shape, and you're young. And you may be messing up your own bag. What I mean is, this may come back to haunt you. Okay, You could go and do the Sean Camp and have kids by 20 different women. That's your... Your business, none of my business, all right? But the thing is, for basketball purposes, you're depriving yourself of greatness and you're depriving the fans of seeing you be great. Now, I don't know what your future is going to be because I don't know if the Pelicans are going to re-sign you or even move forward with you. Do they want that guy to be the face of their franchise? Because when you're a professional basketball player and you're making millions of dollars, I'm going to repeat this. If you're in a multi-million dollar business, it's not just what you do on the court. It's what you do off the court as well. You represent that franchise. You represent that business. You are the face of that business. So you have to conduct yourself on the court and off the court. And that's his problem. He don't know how to conduct himself on the court or off. Because this girl said... She saw soda bottles all around the all around your house. You fat and you out of shape. Another girl is coming out making claims against you saying that you was messing around with her. Dog, you're going to have to get a grip of reality and hold on, all right? See, it's easy for a guy to go all around town spreading his seed. That takes no no energy, no effort, takes no discipline. But to have discipline is one of the most hardest things to do for a man, all right? Morals and ethnics and have some discipline will help you go far. You can't just go around town slamming everything you see, dog. I mean, there's consequences to that. You can end up getting the clap. You could catch the Magic Johnson. And you don't want to be in that um, situation. You're young, you're promising, and you may throw away your bag because making millions of dollars can go away fast in 2023. You find yourself broke real, real quick. And I don't know what the Pelicans are going to do with you. Are they even going to move forward with you? If I'm the Pelicans and this whole Zion situation, I sit them down, try to sweep it under the rug as much as I can. But if it comes back to haunt the business, the revenue, ticket sales, whatever. Then I say, hey, you know what? I don't think we can move forward with Zion. Let's trade him. So his his career in Pelicans jersey is not promised. He may be on the move. You know, I personally don't, like I said, I don't care about what a player is doing off the court. Me personally, but... There has to be some level of responsibility in how you carry yourself. I mean, look at guys like LeBron James. For all the criticism I do on the court for him, he carries himself like a gentleman and a disciplined man off the court. He never gets into trouble. Never had a problem with LeBron James off the court, right? You could take a note from some guys like that, you know. Um, several players, uh, I believe, the Joe Embiid's, uh the Joker, uh, there's a lot of players that conduct themselves in a professional manner because they know they're in a million-dollar business, and they have to be good, right? They can't be doing that shit like they're coming off the block. And Zion, you got to get your shit together. You got millions of dollars. You're feeling yourself, and you know that without that millions of dollars that you're making, you won't get the opportunities that you got to even see all these girls. The only reason why you're with these girls is because you got money, all right? Because on uh, any given day, I doubt these girls would give you a, the time and day if you didn't have money. 
And I understand a guy has to build his value. And you built your value, so you want to reap the rewards of it. But can you reap the rewards in a more private manner so it won't cost you your basketball career? Sports out. Peace.